In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your laptop to an external monitor. So typically, the screen on your laptop is going to be relatively small, so it can be really useful to go and add a second or even a third monitor to your laptop. Now, I'll be showing you everything you need to know about connecting an external monitor. And the very first thing we need to do is just go and determine what port you're currently using on your laptop. So if you go and tilt your laptop onto its side, you're typically going to have either a HDMI port, a display port, or a USB-C port. Now, the most common way to connect your external monitor is via a HDMI cable. You just obviously need to ensure that you have a HDMI port on your laptop itself. So you can see on my particular laptop, here is my HDMI port. So I'm going to be using a HDMI cable from my laptop to my external monitor. Now, the first step is just to go and plug one end of the HDMI into your laptop. You can then go and plug the other end of this into your external monitor. Now, you also need to make sure that your power cable is plugged in to your monitor. So you should have a power cord that runs from your monitor over to the main power supply. And that's going to allow you to turn on and turn off the monitor. Now, once you've connected this HDMI cable, we just need to go and turn on the monitor. So there should be a power button located somewhere beneath your monitor. And you should see a small LED light just to indicate the monitor is actually on. So the next thing we need to do is bring up the settings on our monitor to ensure we're connected to the correct port. So you'll usually have a settings button just beneath the monitor. And you can go and select this to make sure you're using the correct port. So I'm connected to HDMI 2, so that's the one that I'm going to select. But obviously, if you're using something like DisplayPort, then make sure you have the correct input mode selected. Now, once you've done this, you should be able to see on your big monitor what you see on your laptop. Now, if it's not working, then don't worry, I'm gonna show you how we can fix this as well. So what we need to do is come over to our laptop and we're just going to bring up the start menu, go and click on settings. In the left-hand side, select system, then press display. And the first thing we need to do is go and identify our different displays. So you can go ahead and press this identify button and that's going to show you which display is number one and which display is number two. You can then click on the drop down arrow next to duplicate these displays and you can decide what you want to display on each of the monitors. So you can either set this to duplicate these displays, and that means whatever you do on your laptop is going to be displayed on your external monitor. You can choose to extend these displays, and this will mean your second monitor is going to act as kind of an extension of your laptop screen. So what this means is you can have different windows on each of your different screens. So you could be watching YouTube on your laptop, and you could have a game or a website up on your second monitor, and you can basically move your mouse between the two different displays. Now, if you decide to select extend these displays, one thing you can do is you can go and reorder the monitors. So what you can do is go and drag the screen number one and replace it with screen number two. And now that means my laptop screen is going to be on the left and my monitor is going to be on the right. Now, this is important because when you move your mouse cursor, you're either going to be moving it to the left or to the right. And depending on where your monitor and laptops placed on your desk, you want to make sure this aligns with how you have this display displayed on the settings. Now you can also scroll down and click on the drop down next to multiple displays and you want to make sure these three options are checked. This really comes down to personal preference but I find these settings here work the best and if you're having issues detecting your second display you can always go and press this detect button over here to try and troubleshoot any connection issues. So that's how you connect an external monitor to your laptop. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.